Hey guys, welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. Today we're installing some Husky mud flaps on my Dodge Ram 3500. If you guys have been following along, we're doing a lot of projects. Getting ready for a bunch of trips coming up that we got going on. A lot of uh, field trials and uh, if you guys don't know what a field trial is, it is a hunting competition, pretty much short version of it. So yeah, we're getting ready for that. And so we need to get these mud flaps on to prevent things from flying up and hitting our horse trailer and breaking windows or chipping the paint or just getting mud all over the truck so um let's get started and let's start with an unboxing Okay, I've prepped this driver's side wheel well for the mud flap. I've cleaned it up. <clears throat> now I'm gonna put this, this paint protective cover on there. We need to spray it with water and uh, a couple droplets of Dawn dish soap. I'm also going to spray where I'm going to apply. All right, you guys can't even tell, but it's on there. Uh, that really sucked. I wasn't a fan of doing that, but it's on there, and now we can put the mud flap on. I've already removed these two screws right here, and we're gonna use them again for the mud flap, so let's start on that. There she is, pretty simple. Other than I wasn't a huge fan of the protective paint film cover. And then there's, you know, since I'm doing a uh, review, there's a, you know, kind of a little gap right there. But it's not that bad, it's pretty tight. That's only something you'll really notice if you really start looking at it, but it should prevent all this debris from flying up right here. So uh, I'm gonna do the other side off camera and then I'll show you that when I'm done and then we'll move on to the front. Passenger rear is installed, that was pretty easy. Now onto the front ones, those are gonna be a little bit harder. Okay guys, I pre-cleaned the area I'm gonna be working on and now you're gonna want to turn the wheel uh, to give yourself a little bit more room. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, so now I'm going to remove those screws and we can uh, get started here. 
Okay, you're gonna spray that down and put this paint film where your liner's gonna be sitting. And you kinda need to get a feel for that. So, about yay high. Tell you what guys, I hate this thing. I have a feeling it's gonna fall off. It probably won't last, but we'll see. Let's see if it stands the test of time. Okay, got that on there. It's not on there very good at all. Um, I had to take a knife to it just to get it to separate when it was uh, stuck together as one piece. So, um, can't get this wrinkle out. It doesn't go with the body line very well. And yeah, it's gonna fall off before too long, but on there the best I can and wait for it to fall off I guess also it's way too long so I had to wrap it up and around the fender here okay so I uh, went ahead and removed those two screws we need to first you know Clean your prep space if you haven't yet, and then peel back, peel that red tape off. This is the, the adhesive tape. Stick that up in there. Try to line it up the best you can, get your screws going. Okay, now that that's on, you're gonna put this clip in these two groove lines where you're supposed to put the clip. So. This side is done. I'm gonna do the other side off camera and you guys are gonna repeat the same step over there and I will show you the finished product. All right, we're all done. Mud flaps are on. We installed these uh, running boards yesterday. And on this side, it is really close to clearing. Like really close. But on the passenger side, unfortunately, it's touching. Um, I hope that's not a big issue. I'm not too worried about it right now. I just hope it doesn't make some kind of weird highway noise uh, with wind and vibration and whatnot. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Okay, quick little item update for you on the... Uh, ram and some of the parts we've been buying so i bought a really cheap antenna that way it would fit into the garage not too happy with this one it was only like 10 bucks but you know what it is working i'm gonna leave it on there for now maybe someday i'll update it but it's pretty flimsy but um it works so that's the new antenna so when we got the truck the antenna was broken running boards were all jacked up and now we got all that fixed and we got the uh, mud flaps on to prevent any rocks being thrown against the trailer and mud getting thrown all over the trucks and steps so uh, hopefully that works pretty well if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out please hit that like button and if you guys want to see more content on the truck or any upcoming field trial events or anything like that please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next Red Beard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors and keep having fun with your truck. I'll catch you guys on the next one.